G'day guys, how's it going and welcome back to another episode of Hardcore Minecraft. This week I've been pretty busy doing a lot of building and basically changing my mind. It's, uh, it's been a little bit of a weird week for me, but uh, I'm, just, I'm just chilling out in Minecraft building what I want to build. And one of those things is a new style of nether highway that I have been working on and I think it looks pretty cool. Now my problem with the old nether highways was that I could not fly through them. They were too they were too small and I did address this in a stream saying that I was too claustrophobic in them and I just didn't like them. So I'm going to widen them all up. Uh, we're not going to go past this way because there's nothing, nothing really past here. So we'll probably go about halfway out with the tunnel, but I do plan on making it all the way across to the Guardian Farm before the end of our nether segment. So there's going to be a lot of work put into this. I also did a massive uh, resource gathering from a bastion that we found all the way down the end of this highway here. And it, well, it wasn't that massive. I got about three and a half, three and a half, maybe four shulker boxes from that. But uh, it was a little bit dodgy. It was a different type of bastion, which I wasn't used to. And it had lava absolutely everywhere. And it also had a crimson forest next to it, which, went, which made it uh, a little bit harder because there were hoglands spawning semi-constantly and I was kind of worried about that but in today's episode what we are going to be doing is trying to finalize the exterior of the piglin village and the bastion as well so we're going to try and finish those two there I'm going to do half on stream half off stream and see if we can get that done for this episode and yeah like I said finish this area off completely and then we'll come back and do the interiors another episode I also want to go down and finish that uh, the edging around the forge, make it a little bit more not um, not like that. I don't want it to be straight because that just it gives it a harsh harsh edge and I don't like that. So yeah, there's a fair bit on today. Uh, we've got our resources behind us there. We've got one, two, we've got nine shulkers over there of stuff that we can use for both these two builds. So hopefully that's going to be enough. If it's not, we're in a little bit of trouble. So with that, let's get started on this episode and see if we can finish off this section over here of the Piglin Village, which will finish off the Piglin Village, mostly anyway, a little bit of terraforming here and there. All right, let's do it. As I said, there's still a little bit of landscaping to go, but the exterior of the town is pretty much done. So if we go and have a bit of a look, I also added some of the, the ground blocks in. We've got to do a lot more, I feel, and maybe some more custom trees, but we'll see how it goes. The other thing was this little house here. Now it's hard to see because there's a tree right in the road, but it's at different angles, it looks terrible. <laughs> but it, I tried to build a diagonal house it came up all right for a first shot, I think. I think it came up all right. We're going to be trying to do a little bit more of the diagonal stuff in the future and see, see if we can incorporate it into some of our builds. The one thing that I'm finding hard in this area is to try and create that sort of that light environment that the Crimson Forest and the Warp Forest gives off. Using the stream lights helps a lot, but you can see like over the side of that house, we've got a lot of dark area there. And that really needs something, but I just don't know what yet. I don't want to litter the place with shroom lights, but we've also got it here. I was hoping that tree would light it up. And we've also got it in here. So if you've got any suggestions, please leave them down in the comments and I'll have a look through those and hopefully we can figure out something to help that problem out. Wow. Now the next part in the episode was going to be this bastion side of stuff and I've already filled in this room and the one behind. We did that on stream on Thursday, but I ran out of resources. So the resources that we gathered from the bastion uh, over wherever it is, that way maybe, was not enough. Once we built this area up, we've got plenty of the cracked brick stone left, but we don't have much more than that. So built up two rooms, and one tower 
that was enough to get rid of all of our resources. But it's starting to look a lot cleaner than what it did. If we come up here and have a look at it from above, you can see that a, a general structure is starting to come about. So I was hoping to get this done this episode, but just resources, resource problem. I'm gonna have to go down and tear that other bastion out completely. We're gonna be tearing this area out here and relying on this bridge here, which will build up a little bit more to get from one side to the other. The other thing I was thinking is that there was a big pool of lava that was like separated by blackstone and it looked like, uh, sort of like what you think a water treatment facility would look like. And I wanna do that behind over that side there. So we'll see how that comes out. Otherwise, there was a lot of ideas through stream of what we could do with this build. And one of them was a Strider stable. I think that's a really cool idea. Don't knock me off. Uh, we've got the forge just over there and there's uh, the little archway there, which could be really cool to ride around on Striders. I'm not 100% on riding on Striders. I'm really scared of like falling off of them and falling in the lava, but we'll use a fire resistance potion and see, see if that ever happens. A little bit scared about that. And the other idea was to make the bottom floor of this or the next one into a jail or like a prison style thing. We could collect some mobs from the overworld and bring them in and like cage them up. I think that would give this place a little bit of life, which would be awesome. So for now, let's run the time lapse on this being built and then we'll come back and have a look at the basalt over the forge. And I think that might be it for this episode. I've done a fair bit. We've got a fair bit achieved in this episode. We've only got four episodes left past this. So there's a lot of work to do, a lot of work. Anyway, let's get into it. and framed that just a little bit, made it a little less straight, which I think I like a lot more than what it was. But I think maybe we can utilize some other sort of block to edge that, maybe just give it a little bit more texture. We've got that straight line over there that we might extend out and support that uh, support structure there. But overall, it looks 100% better. As you can see, we made a lot of progress on the Bastion this time around. And I think we're coming close to a finish. Once we... Oops. Once we finish off the, that section there and do the roofing in the interior, it should be good. Add a couple of those little additions like the stable and that little like lava collection area and I think we're finished. So pretty, pretty exciting times do we do. Oh no. It's the only problem with having a beacon around. It's like you try and fix up one thing and make seven other mistakes. There you go, back to your home. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, a lot of work went into this one. May not look like it, but there was many hours grinded um, trying to get all the resources and trying to build the outside structures, which I am enjoying so much, but I'm keen to get out of the nether. So we've got four episodes to go in the nether, and then we're going to be moving back to the overworld to onto our next project, which I'm pretty keen for. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that as well. Anyway, it's been fun and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. All right, bye for now.